Hey guys, and welcome to the wonderful, 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 wonderful box of the Tinkering. Now, what we're on here today is a little redstone -y, and I, I have to say, it has been a long time since I've been delving into redstone. I've been doing a few smaller redstone-y projects for some other things. Uh, I really want to get back to redstone on the Tinker Box. Uh, not to say I'm getting rid of all the testing stuff I've been doing, because I've really enjoyed testing things, but I really miss derping around with redstone. I had a good fun with that, and that's where this place got. Anyway, I'm getting really ranty. So what, uh, what, what are we on here for today? We are on here today for uh, a T-flip-flop. I was looking around, and I was trying to find myself a really good T-flip-flop using the new repeaters. And I couldn't really find one. Okay, well, that's a lie. I found plenty of them. I found tons of them, and a lot of them were terrible. Well, not, uh, I mean, there were some really good ones. There were some nice ones, some okay ones, and then there were some where I was like, that is a monstrosity. I don't know why anyone would build that. So I decided, hey, let me build my own T-flip-flop. These people are building T-flip-flops. I'm not satisfied. Let me satisfy myself. So this is what I've done. I've built a T-flip-flop. And the interesting thing about this T-flip-flop is it has two different places you can put inputs into it. So it gives you a lot of options. And it is probably the easiest T-flip-flop in the world to build. It's beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. And it is a T-flip-flop, so that means I can toggle it here. But I can also toggle it here. So I think it's really interesting that both of these work, which gives you just more input possibilities and makes the design more adaptable. Okay, so let's get started on how to build it. It's the simplest thing ever. You need to place two blocks down, put a piece of redstone in between the blocks, put a torch on the far block. When you're facing it forward, it's going to be the far right block. So just put a torch on the block. Next to that block, you want to put a repeater on full delay, and in front of this block that doesn't have a torch on it, you're going to put a repeater with full delay, and you are done. So just plop down a button, and there you go. Simple T-flip-flop. And I like this design because it gives you four different inputs. One, two, three, four. So that's four different places you could send a signal into it and get it to work. So <clears throat> this is just kind of a short little midget bite episode on how to build a T-flip-flop with the new repeaters feature. Uh, I hope you guys found it helpful. If you did, like always, please consider like, commenting, and subscribing, and hopefully I'll get around to doing some more redstone-y things in the future on the Tinkerbox. Uh, see you guys later. Toodles!